hello everyone and welcome to a new video today i'm going to share with you how to do the meshing of a lattice structure using solid elements this is from a paper published last year and you can check my research gate profile to see the full paper so what is a lattice structure a lattice structure is something similar to this this is only one type and it is called bcc lattice structure or body centered cubic so without further ado let's try to make uh, this guy we open the ls prepost we go to the solid tools we make a box first and i would say here is minus one minus one one so this is our cube okay next we want to make the legs of the lattice so cylinder and then click on top and bottom method now we want to click on the vertex this is one and this is two the radius you can see the radius is too big now so we can make it 0 0.2 okay this is fine now the next one we click on here and we click on here okay as you can see here i click on the points on the geometry i did not click on the vertex so right click here remove and then make sure i click on the red dot here here there is a red dot which represents the vertex okay good apply now i rotate so I have two more legs, two more cylinders to create. So this is one and this is here. Okay. Now the last one here and here. Again, I click by mistake on a point. So I remove then make sure I'm clicking on the red dot itself okay that's good apply so now as you can see we have one solid box and four cylinders now we want to combine all the four cylinders to be in one geometry or in one entity so go to go to the boolean union and click on the four guys the order doesn't matter apply okay so they are one entity now why we need to do that because next is the magical step we want to click on common and then click on the box and click on the uh, legs that we made just now and then apply and there you go you have your one unit lattice structure now we want to mesh or to measure no not this one uh, we mesh with the tetrahedron measure so pick skin geometry click on this guy and then the element size let's say we test 0 0.1 okay so this is 0 0.1 size of element and then we click mesh here then accept Click on the mesh down here. We can hide this one, and here you go. We have our one unit cell. Okay, this mesh is good, but it's not the best. We can do better. So, first, I will hide this one, and then this boolean I have it here, right? I make another solid. Now, I just make zero, 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 and then apply. And then what we want to do now we can go to boolean again and then do the common again so one and two sorry one and two apply now we have only one leg of the lattice so we go to mesh we use the same tool with the same element size then click on this one here and then 
triangle mesh then tetrahedron mesh okay now we can hide the geometry or the shape and we have one of one leg of the lattice next we can just uh, repeat the same thing or we use a transform tool to make the other guys or the other legs so we can reflect or before reflect i want to rotate and then rotate around the z pick the origin here will be zero 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 90 degree copy the element yes and i want three copies so by part and then click here and then rotate and here we have one half of our lattice unit cell next i go to reflect this now reflect normal to z and i pick again here zero 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 by part copy elements i want only one one copy reflect and then accept and here we go we have our one unit cell now before we forget we must merge the duplicate nodes here to connect between the different eight legs merge and then accept okay now we have two meshes this is this is one and this is two and both of them actually have the same element size but if i right click here and click on properties you can see the number of elements here is 10,602 and here the number of elements is 11,000 so using the second method actually is much better because you mesh one leg at a time so this is only one unit cell now we can just duplicate this one to make the rest of the lattice structure so go to transform so here i click on node pick node pick anything on the top then by part so here we have two floors then again by part now we have four floors now we want to reflect in the x direction the origin should be anywhere here and another step another time we click we need to change the origin every time then reflect okay next is reflect into the y normal to y click on the click on the elements click on the origin reflect okay the next step here click on any element here click on the part and then reflect okay now don't forget to merge the duplicate nodes to connect between the different uh, unit cells except and then uh, there you go you have your first lattice structure perspective click on the perspective so you can see it more beautifully this is only how to make the mesh if you want to do a compression test or any type of test then you can check my other video that's all for today thank you for watching don't forget to like and subscribe and see you next time